Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Melinda. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing my Amazon favorites. So if you like videos like these, definitely give this video a thumbs up or comment and let me know if you want me to film more of these because I buy so much stuff off Amazon. I know that this isn't even scratching the surface of the products that I love from Amazon. But yeah, so this will be my first video, I'm sure, of many if you guys enjoy stuff like this. So yeah, I do have a few different categories that I'm going to kind of be going through, and I will put timestamps in the description box for um, when each new category starts if you're only interested in a certain type of product from Amazon. So I just have a list here on my phone. Some of the categories I'm going to be doing are um, beauty related, of course. I have a few tech products. I have some home and decor items. I have some audiobooks I'm going to recommend and then some miscellaneous items. So again, I'll have timestamps down below if you want to skip ahead to any of those sections. The very first thing in beauty are my wigs, of course. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that I love wearing wigs or if you're on my Instagram page. So this is actually one of the wigs that is my absolute favorite from Amazon. So I've worn both of these on my channel before. This is a gray one. It has like these dark roots. By the way, I'm going to be probably talking extremely fast in this video because I have a ton of things to get through, but I just want to give like a short little description of each. So both of these wigs are lace front wigs, which can help them look a little bit more natural if you don't know a lot about wigs. Um, I don't like to really fool with the hairline, so I always just slap a beanie on. It's a lot quicker for me. But yeah, I think both of these are 22 inches long, and they're both from the same brand called Charisma. Um, and I don't know if I said this already, but I'm going to have every single item that I talk about linked down below in the description box, so it's easy for y'all to just click straight to it. So another wig that I have, this is by a different brand, but it's this little pink one, and she's looking like a little bit messy right now. But she has like bangs in the front. I'll actually um, put a card up on the screen or whatever so you guys can see me applying this wig and how I like chopped it up a little bit but I do like this one I wouldn't wear this one out I would wear these out though this one and the gray one I would wear out and I have worn those out but this one I wouldn't just because it's not very thick like look that's my hand <laughs> coming through um, and you can see like it just doesn't have a lot of hair to it I guess so you can see the tracks very easily so it's just not super realistic but what I do love this wig for which is what I use it for is if you enjoy doing a lot of um, like really colorful makeup looks or anything like that on your Instagram this is perfect for just taking pictures in so sorry my we're shaking but this is perfect for just taking pictures in and doing things like that and I absolutely love this wig for that purpose um, another hair related item, if you have multiple personalities like I do and you want to look like a different person every single day of the week, I have these little clip in bangs. These are amazing. So, and I feel like the colors match your hair really perfectly, or at least that's been my experience. So this one is actually in the shade dark brown and I have another one that are, um, they're black. Oh, here they are. Here's the black, here's the dark brown and they match my hair so perfectly. I love these. Again, for like taking pictures and doing makeup looks in them, I'll put a few pictures pictures up on the screen of me wearing um, this wig with the black set of bangs and I'll see if I have any others to throw in there too. I love those just to kind of um, change up my look for my Instagram pictures whenever I'm doing different makeup pictures and different makeup looks and stuff but also it's good to like if you want to try out another hair color I love wigs for that purpose and if you want to try out bangs but you're scared to actually commit to it, those are really awesome because you can literally just like snap them in and take them right back out if you don't like them. However, I would not recommend wearing those bangs out in public because the clips are not very secure and I literally was wearing them in public one day and I stepped out of my car and the wind blew them off my head and that was really embarrassing. So I wouldn't recommend them in public. Um, that actually happened to some, like I was meeting someone that follows my Instagram. So if you're watching this, I don't know if you saw that happen or not, but I was really embarrassed. So anyways, moving on. Okay, so I have some different hair products. So first, um, you've seen this in a curly hair video of mine. I think it's in my video going from zero to 100 or whatever. This is the Women to Women's Naturals Gorgeous Collection Leave-In Conditioner. This is an amazing protein treatment. If you have curly or wavy hair, I highly, highly recommend this. It gives me insane curl definition. I absolutely love this for refreshing and for first day styling. Um, another styling product that I use, I'm sorry if you can see the hair stuck to this, but I'm not going to try and get them off right now. This is the Kinky Curly Not Today Leave-In Conditioner. Again, this gives me amazing, amazing curl definition. I love this stuff. I highly recommend it. And then this avocado oil. So I love this stuff as a heat protectant, actually. 
I put this on my hair before I straighten it or before I curl it and it kind of helps to tame the frizz. I have extremely dense like coarse hair and so when I straighten it it's really hard for me to get my hair to actually like lay flat and be straight because I just I have naturally wavy hair so it just doesn't work very well for me but this helps a ton with that. If you have like really coarse hair too I would recommend this and like I said I'm pretty sure this is like the I'm pretty sure this works as a heat protectant, but I would do your own research on that. I don't want you burning your hair off because of something I said, but um, I read online that this oil is really good for heat protecting. So that's how I use it, but do your own research so you don't fry your hair. Um, curly hair styling products or wavy hair. I have wavy hair. Um, the TIGI Catwalk Curls Rock Amplifier. I absolutely love this stuff. It's more of like a gel consistency, but I do feel like it's a little bit in between a gel and a cream. Creams are too heavy for my hair. Gels are too light for my hair on their own. So this is like a really happy medium. I will probably do a video in the future on me actually styling my hair with this product, but I do use this every single day and I have a ton of hair and I only have to use about this much of the product. I don't know if you can see that. Sorry, that was stupid. Why did I do that? I only use like this much of the product and that covers my whole head, which my hair is about to here, by the way, my real hair. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love that stuff. This, okay, so I don't actually know if I got this off Amazon. I'm gonna double check, but I'll link it down for you if I can find it. But this is the Cetaphil Daily Advanced Lotion for dry, sensitive skin. I am absolutely obsessed with this stuff. It's so amazing. So I actually have been using a more expensive moisturizer, the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. That one's like $30, and I didn't wanna have to repurchase that every single month. So I was really looking for um, a nice affordable option. This is a huge container for only like $8, I think. And I'm obsessed with this. It will literally keep my skin moisturized all day and I don't have to reapply it. I love this. I tried the um, CeraVe moisturizer and my skin was dry like three hours later. So not any like drugstore lotion will work for you if you have really dry skin, but this one does and I highly recommend it. Another lotion, so this one is by CeraVe and this is the salicylic acid lotion for rough and bumpy skin. So I get like those little bumpies on my arms and on the back of my legs a lot during winter and I heard that it's just like clogged pores or like dead skin and it happens a lot when you have really dry skin. My skin is extremely dry. So what I like about this is it's a moisturizer and a chemical exfoliator all in one and I do feel like this really helps with kind of unclogging the pores on my body that are like kind of, I know this is kind of gross, I'm sorry, but I love this stuff. If you have those little bumps, you know what I'm talking about. They're so annoying. Um, this doesn't get rid of it 100%, I will say, but it does work really, really well and it'll definitely decrease those little bumps. So I do really love this stuff. I'm probably about, I'm more than halfway out of this, so I really like it. I talked about both of these products actually in my empties video and I'm obsessed with these. This one is the La Roche-Posay Hyaluronic Serum. This is an extremely moisturizing serum. I love this stuff. Um, again, I talk more about it in my empties video, but if you're looking for a good serum, I would definitely get this. It is about $30, but I've heard people say that if you're going to invest anywhere in your skincare, it should be in your serums. So if you have dry skin and you've just been using a moisturizer, that's not enough. You really, really do need a serum because serums can penetrate your skin more deeply than just a standard moisturizer. As far as exfoliators go, I only chemical exfoliate. I don't physical exfoliate. And my favorite, my absolute favorite, because I get really bad clogged pores on my nose and on my chin, is this Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting AHA Gel. And this is actually the travel sized one. I love this. Um, I get all my Paula's Choice stuff off of Amazon. So um, I think that finishes up my beauty category. And really quick, I did want to mention that you want to read reviews whenever you're buying a beauty product off Amazon because I've noticed a lot of reviewers say that they will use, um, the seller will use the packaging and then refill it with a different formula and you're not actually getting what you think you're getting. So definitely read all reviews before purchasing any kind of beauty or like skincare or anything off of Amazon because there are a lot of like fakes out there. Um, all of these though, if they're fakes, they're still working great. So I'll link you, I'll link below um, the ones that are working for me. So I really love them. Okay, I'm gonna take a breath. Okay, so if you're a boy watching my channel right now, you probably wanna click off because I'm gonna talk about periods. So I buy my Diva Cup off of Amazon and I absolutely love this. If you don't know what a Diva Cup is, it's basically 
and, and this is a bag it comes in this is not the cup itself I'm not going to show you that because that is weird but um, I absolutely love this it's a tampon alternative basically so I stopped using tampons because they drove me insane and they're actually really not good for you especially if you get like the scented ones and a lot of them just have like chemicals on them that are not good to be inside your body so and this also creates less waste and it actually has saved me so much money I would probably go through a box of tampons like a box of like 20 tampons I would go through that in like one week and that cost me like I think eight or nine dollars this is only 30 bucks and it'll last you for a whole year and then you I think you want to replace it after a year I'm pretty sure I would have spent the thirty dollars in three months this I spent thirty dollars and it lasts me 12 months so it's awesome highly recommend the diva cup all right tech stuff so my thing I'm like super, super excited to share with you guys is the ring light that I'm actually using right now. So I'll show you a clip um, in a second, but let me just show you, um, by the way, this ring light was only like $29 or something, which is an insane deal. If you've looked at any prices for ring lights, that is like bananas. So I'll show you what this looks like without my ring light on. So this is without the ring light. This is with the ring light and it has I think three different color settings. So you have this like warmer tone setting. Sorry, I'm looking at my viewfinder. You have this really white bright setting and then you have this like cool tone setting. So with all the settings though, let me see oh, I'm not gonna be able to show you. I'll like I said, I'll have to show you the actual ring light itself in another clip because I'm currently using it. But you can also adjust the brightness so you can go down and you can go up on any of the different color settings. So it's really awesome. You can adjust like everything. So I highly recommend that if you, honestly, if you need a bright light to just do your makeup, if you film videos or if you take any pictures of your makeup, I highly recommend that. I actually use it to apply my makeup and to do videos. So I kind of use it for everything because I don't have vanity lights right now. So still into tech stuff, this little thingy is amazing. So basically what this does is one end plugs into your phone, into your iPhone, and then the other end has an import for an SD card. So you can go out and take really high quality pictures of yourself on your camera and then take your SD card and put it straight into here. Sorry, that's backwards. Wait, is that blank? So then you can put your SD card straight into here, plug it into your phone and get your pictures off your SD card immediately instead of having to wait until you have access to a computer to download them all off the SD card and then get them onto your phone so you can post them. So I really love this thing. I will admit sometimes it's a little bit slow to like actually move the photos, but if nothing else, I just wanted to put this on y'all's radar that this is an item that exists. So if you can find one that has really good reviews, I will link this one and it does have really good reviews, I'm pretty sure. But, um, and it works fine, but if you want a faster one there could be one out there but I just wanted to bring up this type of a product in general to show you guys it's really cool um, another tech item and I think my last one is this little remote control like um, shutter button thingy I don't know you use this to release the shutter on your phone so this is really awesome if you take pictures of yourself so you don't have to set up a self timer and it takes like 50 pictures and you have to go through all those and delete them this one you can just snap it over and over again and it's Bluetooth this is amazing I use this for about a year before the battery died this one the battery is actually dead I need to get a replacement but it's amazing it makes taking pictures on your own so much easier I love this thing and it's only like seven bucks I don't know if I mentioned that now we're into home decor I am not gonna be able to hold any of these items up for you and you're gonna realize why in a second so I will have to do like little cut clips of all of those I don't know if that's what that's called I just made that up but so I do I am gonna reference my list a little bit more for this part so the first thing is our duvet set that we have so this is our comforter and our um I don't know the difference between a comforter and a duvet first of all so if I'm like saying one wrong and it's actually the other one just ignore that um I do believe we got the king size just because I love the idea of like a really giant oversized blanket and our bed is only a full which I know is like probably crazy for most people to imagine two people sleeping in a full bed but our bedroom is really tiny so it gave us more whatever it gives us more room anyways that's not the point so it's this really cute like stripey pattern it's super cute I just love it I think it goes perfectly with that like mid-century modern style so if you're into that I highly recommend it that's what our like decor style is um also this duvet insert I am obsessed with oh my gosh so this thing is so fluffy 
I just spit. I don't know if the camera picked that up, but it's so fluffy and heavy and it's just so cozy. I seriously love it. I will say it is a pinch warm in the winter time, but I get so freaking hot when I sleep. So I may not be like the best person to ask. If you are extremely cold natured, it might work just fine for you and you might be good. Um, okay, another thing are these curtain rods. So I am obsessed. We got the most beautiful like gold, goldy brass, I'm not really sure, curtain rods. And I think they are so pretty. And then we also got these um, green like velvet curtains. So those are another one on my list that I'm going to have linked down below. Um, so the curtains and the curtain rods, I highly recommend both of them. They're amazing and they're so pretty. Again, if you like that mid-century modern style, you might really like these. Um, I know we do. And then, ooh, okay, our table. We just bought this brand new dining room table. We struggled for so long to find the perfect mid-century modern dining table that wasn't over like $500, but it was still gonna be like sturdy and preferably real wood. And I'm pretty sure this one is real wood. And I think it was only about like $230-ish. It's amazing. I am absolutely obsessed with it. It feels very sturdy, very high quality. And I, yeah, I'm just in love. So if y'all have been looking for a table and you've been struggling, hopefully you will like this one and it'll kind of like take away the searching that you'll have to do. So you're welcome. So, ooh, our vacuum. Okay, I am such a freaking adult to be excited by is my wig crazy? Do I look stupid right now? Oh, let me show you, by the way, how like long this wig is. It's so freaking long. This is where the top of my pants are. Like, it's bananas. Okay, that was super off topic. Anyways, so back to what I was saying. I'm such an adult to be excited by a vacuum, but you guys, seriously, I have the, like, okay, let me start from the beginning. This vacuum is so amazing. It's extremely lightweight, but very, very, um, sucky oh that was a weird hand motion okay i'm sorry but it works really well like the the suckage <laughs> i don't know how to freaking describe a vacuum the sucking is really strong it works really well okay you guys get the point and you can like detach the main rod and just have a little handheld and use it to like do your stairs or like your car it's super amazing and my favorite part oh it's cordless you plug it in and charge it and then my favorite part is how lightweight it is i have the wimpiest little arms you guys don't let this sweatshirt fool you my arms are tiny i have no muscle so vacuuming is a freaking struggle for me okay but not with this guy it is amazing and i'm obsessed so I like love vacuuming now. Um, let's see. Oh, my clothing rack. Okay, I just put this in a recent vlog. I'm obsessed with this clothing rack. It was only like $50. Again, if you're into mid-century modern, this is beautiful. It's like bamboo. Um, yeah, I love it. It looks so cute. I'll insert a clip somewhere. Oh yeah. Okay, you guys, this is again where I turn into like a hardcore adult. I don't know what happened to me. I'm only 23 years old and I feel like a freaking grandma. I'm going to tell you about this scrub brush. So this is, ew, this had water in it. That's disgusting. Okay, so this thing is so amazing. So if you, like me, think that dish sponges are the most disgusting thing on the planet and also don't really work that well, why do we use them? You need to buy the scrub brush. First of all, it's freaking so cute. The handle's like light wood. Don't put it in your dishwasher. You'll probably catch something on fire. <laughs> I didn't know that. And then it has this really pretty like dark charcoal-y. Um, it almost looks like concrete. I'm not sure what it actually is. Probably just like clay or something. But I just made that up. I have no idea. But it's so nice. And yeah, I don't know. I just heard that it's supposed to be more sanitary than using a sponge. And I think it looks nicer so you can actually like, set it out and leave it on your counter and it's more sanitary which is amazing and it works so well like it just cleans a lot better than a sponge like sponges just like run right over things because they're too soft and like wimpy these are like really coarse bristles and they work so well i love it we've had ours for like a year so our edges are like fraying a little bit we need a new one but that's okay then this thing oh my gosh you guys this is like a little i sound like such a freaking infomercial but it's all good so this is a little scraper tool by the way, I think this is like $7 or something. This is a little scraper tool. So you can use this for so many things. I think it's like a little silicone guy. I cannot do dishes without this thing. I don't know how I live forever without one of these. But you guys, if y'all take your spatulas and scrub your pans to get them clean because that's the only way you know how to do it, you need one of these. You won't have to do that anymore. So this will get off like caked on egg. You can use it to scrape off your countertops. And I think you get two of these in a pack for like 
two or four dollars maybe I don't know it's super cheap but I use this every single day so like I said you can scrape pans with this dishes like caked on food I know that's really gross but um, you can use it to scrape off stuff from your countertops I've used this thing for so many things okay guys so sorry I know my camera's a little bit off it actually ended up dying so I'm having to refilm this clip and then insert it into the video but my camera cut me off when I was talking about these little scraper tools and some other things that I use these for is scraping off countertops to get like food off of them scraping things off the floor if you have kids and they throw food all over the floor these are awesome I've heard I don't have children um but what else I have used these for personally is when we were in our old apartment and we had to fill in holes in the wall I used it to like flat or like scrape off the extra spackle when we were spackling holes in walls and recently I actually used it to scrape off a um, barcode off of like a glass jar so these are extremely multi-purpose multifunctional and I love them I highly recommend them I use them all the time and I literally asked Brian if I could buy these for everyone for Christmas and he told me no and he said that that was a lame Christmas gift but I disagree and I think it's amazing and I still really want to buy it for everybody but since he won't let me get it for you, if you're part of my family and you're watching this, you should definitely buy it yourself because I love it and these are amazing. So the next thing, um, again, my camera cut me off, so I'm kind of like jumping into this next part a little bit abruptly, but I'm just talking about how I had a little bit of a heart flutter for about four years and um, I couldn't get it to go away. And I even went to two heart doctors. One of them even put on a 24 hour heart monitor on me and they weren't able to catch the heart flutter. So they weren't able to diagnose or treat it. And so I kind of started doing my own research into heart health. Um, and so that is a little bit about the clip that you're about to see. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into that. What I was saying was I'm not giving medical advice if you have any health conditions. Do not listen to me. Pretend I don't know what I'm talking about. However, my experience and what has worked for me may not work for you first of all, but what has worked for me is these magnesium pills. So like I said, I had a heart flutter for four years. I went to two different heart doctors. Neither one of them could give me any type of advice um, because they weren't, they couldn't catch the heart murmur. So like I said, um, if you know me from my Instagram, I am really into natural health and natural health sol solutions. I don't like taking traditional medicine. I will though, like if I need to, if I can't fix it with a natural remedy, I will take natural medicine. I'm not telling you to not take your medicine. Please take your medicine. Um, however, I like to find natural remedies where I can. So I was listening to this podcast. It's my absolute favorite health podcast. I believe it's called The Model Health Show. If I can link that down below, I will. I think he has a YouTube channel, so I'll link that. But um, he actually had a heart surgeon on his podcast, and the heart surgeon was saying that he gave magnesium to his patients before he did um, heart surgery because it um, regulates your heartbeat. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. I wonder if that would help with my heart flutter. So um, I actually started researching magnesium there are three different types of magnesium only one of them works for heart health so I don't remember the three of them and I don't remember which one this is I think this might actually have all three in them but you need to make sure you're buying it from a good source so I can only speak on this specific brand I would not recommend just magnesium in general only this one is what I use. So that being said, I got on this whole magnesium kick and I started researching magnesium and then I found this guy's blog who also had a heart flutter and he recommended this one and basically that's where I learned all my information about magnesium from. I tried the product and you guys, I've probably been using it for a year or two, maybe two years at this point and I have not had a heart flutter since which is mind blowing because again, I had a heart flutter for four years and it was getting kind of scary because I felt like they were getting worse and worse. And um, if it sometimes it would do it for like an extended period of time and it would like take my breath away when it would do it. So I was starting to kind of panic because I was like, okay, if this gets like really bad, I might lose my breath for like a minute and that's not good, you know? <laughs> I sound so stupid right now. Anyways, so it was just really freaking me out. So I'm really thankful that I found the solution that works for me. Um, anyways, so yeah, that completes this video, you guys. I know it was a long one. I know I was talking super fast. I'm really sorry. Definitely like slow down the speed if I'm going too fast for you, but I wanted to not like drag and be boring and whatever. So 
but I wanted to give you like all the information and not leave anything out. So yeah, you guys, those are my favorite Amazon products. Um, again, like I said at the beginning of this video, if you do enjoy videos like this, definitely give this video a thumbs up or comment down below either way just to let me know and I'll make more videos like this. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, then give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you want to, and I'll see you guys in my next video and don't forget everything is linked down below. Bye guys.